Welcome to YouTube Excel Magic Trick number 10. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, just click on my channel and then on my college website, and there it is. You can download this workbook and follow along. Hey, watch this. In this one, we're going to look at averages. Huh, averages. Hey, look, we're going to look at the average function, the median, and the mode. We're going to do it here, here, and here of this data. These are scores from a test, but it could be from anything. Hey, why do we need an average anyway? Well, of course, we can't talk about all the individual data points when we're talking about all the individual data points. We want a typical value. We want to say, hey, the average sell price is, the average score is. It just makes it easier to talk about stuff. Hey, well, there's three at least. Well, there's that. There's lots of averages. We're going to look at three of them. The mean is adding them all up, dividing by the count. The median is the one in the middle, and the mode is the one that occurs most frequently. Hey, but before we look at those three functions, let's highlight this data. I'm going to click on that cell, Control Shift Down Arrow, and name this. I'm going to click up in the Name box, and I'm going to type SD for Score Data, and then Enter. Look at that, now it's SD. If I click over here and click the drop down and point to SD, boom, that is the range and it jumps there. Hey, now we're going to click in this cell right here and instead of mean, that's the official statistics word that means what we think of as an average, which is adding up and divided by the count, we're going to say equals A V E R A average. I don't know how to type or spell, so. But there it is. In 2007, there's a drop down, you can just hit tab. 2003 and earlier, you got to type everything out. Now watch this. Instead of highlighting the range, I'm just going to type SD. No way. We can see the blue, and then it outlines it, telling us that we got it. And then I'm going to hit Tab. Tab. Notice another thing there. We didn't type that last little uh, close parentheses. If it's a simple function with just one argument, you can leave it off. I'm going to hit Tab. If I go back there and look, you can see it put it in there for us. That's Excel being polite. Oh, look, the average score is 36. Now the median, that's the one in the middle. Real estate agents always talk about median because they don't want to do an average of all the sales because then those $5 million house prices will make the average mean uh, the one we did right here look too big. So that's why they use the median. Ready? Equals median open parentheses and I'm going to type SD. Look at that. That SD comes in so handy. Oh, tab. The one in the middle is 40. Uh-huh. And then mode equals M-O-D-E open parentheses SD. This is the one that occurs most frequently. So 41 happened the most frequently. Hey, when you do these functions for the first time, hey, you don't got to believe it. Let me show you. I'm going to copy this, Control-C. I'm going to paste it right over here. And I'm going to show you sort. I'm going to click in just one cell. Don't do this, because it won't work. Click in one cell in the data. Go up to the Home ribbon. And there is a, or no, Data ribbon. And there's an A to Z, Z to A. These buttons are also in 2003 on your toolbars, or you can go to data sort. I'm going to click A to Z, which means small, smallest to biggest. Hey, look at that. I can see that there's a bunch of 41s. That actually is the one that occurred most frequently. And what's the one in the middle? Well, what if I don't know? I'm going to click a 1 here and a 2 there. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to copy it down. Hey, 17, so the one in the middle would be 1, 2, 3, 4, somewhere right there. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the one in the middle, number 9, and it's 40. That's just to prove to ourselves that these functions work. Hey, all right, we'll see you next time for more magic tricks in Excel on YouTube.